Good morning everyone, this is Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. Happy Sunday. I'm going to just wait for some people to jump on before I continue so I don't have to keep repeating myself. I am coming live to you from my home uh, before I get this busy, busy, crazy day started. I wanted to update everyone. So I'm just going to wait for a few people to jump on. Can anybody see me and can you please let me know? Good morning. Okay, you see me. Am I clear? Good morning. Thank you. Hugs back to you. Lots of hugs. <clears throat> Good morning. Okay, good. We have about 100 plus people on here right now. Oh, look at that, 100 plus. Huh. Uh, good morning. It has been a very, very long night. Uh, no sleep, so excuse this. Um, lots of coffee this morning. Phone was literally attached to my ear next to my pillow last night. I have been receiving countless text messages, uh, messages, from so many of our supporters asking for updates on little puppy Judah that we took in late yesterday. Guys, I just don't even know what to say. Um, between dogs that are being raped, dogs that are abandoned, tied to poles, and this little baby that was left on the side of the road in Port St. Lucie, I want to say thank you to Elsa and her family for stopping to save his little life yesterday and driving him all the way from Port St. Lucie to Fort Lauderdale to bring him to us and uh, allowing us to give this baby a chance. Good morning, good morning. Wow, look at all of you, 300 people, good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope everybody is home and, stay, and staying safe. I don't know about you, but every time I get a cough or a headache or something, um, my mind is just racing. And I've been speaking to, uh, you know, my team, uh, my friends, family, everybody's the same. Everybody's just so paranoid. And I think that's good. I think we all need to stay paranoid. I think it makes us safe. We can't take any of this lightly. So, yes, we are doing God's work and it is endless. Thank you so much um, for your support. So I'm going to get right to it, okay? Um, first of all, um, I just want you to know that I, I know, it's kind of bright. First of all, I sent in a rescue hold to Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter. Um, there's quite a few dogs in there that desperately need help and need saving. So we got a confirmation so far um, that we are picking up a female little terrier that's in uh, the shelter. It's a kill shelter. Uh, so we are breaking Leah out of Miami-Dade Animal Services this morning. So yet again, another life will be saved. And I'm very excited about that. So as long as we have your support ongoing for our mission, we are gonna continue to save, 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 save. It's endless. Um, I look good. I haven't even showered yet, literally. Had coffee and uh, just sitting outside. My dogs are inside because I know if I let them out, they're going to start barking and making all kinds of noise. So I wanted to do this video. I wanted to just update all of you because you're so invested. I understand and I don't like to leave you hanging. Um, so here's, here's the update on Judah, minus the fact that we're saving another life this morning that makes me feel so good. I was on the phone with the attending ER doctor at Coral Springs Animal Hospital. He was rushed there. Uh, you can see from our video yesterday, he needed an immediate blood transfusion. The blood was brought from Blue Pearl to Coral Springs. He had the catheter in his arm ready to go. Uh, I spoke to the doctor, the ER doctor, late last night, and they are so busy and overwhelmed. Uh, they started the transfusion that takes about four hours. His blood levels were at like 13, 14, which is extremely low. He was completely crawling and covered with fleas, thousands and thousands of fleas. We all know it's just stamped in our head. We can't get it out of our eye, our, our, our head, um, the, the tumor that was outside of his body. 
So the blood transfusion was completed and his level went up to 26, which is fantastic. They removed all the fleas are gone. He ate for them. He drank for them. He's on IV fluids. He's on antibiotics. He peed. Um, no bowel movement yet. Uh, they are waiting for the radiologist to get back to them with what is going on with that tumor. But the first priority was to stabilize him and make him allow him to be strong enough to go under surgery. So at this moment, all I can tell you, yes, the tumor, all I can tell you is he is stable, his blood level is great, his blood pressure is back to normal, um, he's eating, he was eating, I'm sure they're not feeding him now if they're going to be taking him into surgery. Still at this very moment, I do not have an update on what that actual tumor is. Last time I spoke to them was this morning. The doctors are getting ready to go into their rounds. Two new doctors are coming on. Radiologists are going to get back to them this morning. And then they will determine what the tumor is, whether it's a growth on the outside of the body or if it's part of his intestines, a razor blade, which the other doctor said she noticed. I showed it in the video. Um, I don't know. My mind was racing yesterday. Um, uh, I'm listening to this doctor, that doctor. They all have different opinions on what it is. I guess we're not going to know anything until probably around 11, 1130. And then they will be taking him in for surgery and we will know more. But I wanted to let you know that Judah is stable. He received his blood transfusion. He received his IV fluids. He's eating. He's drinking. He peed. Blood pressure is normal. Uh, levels the blood is from now from 13 to 26 and all I can say is thank God um, that he's improving so now we just sit and we wait and um, we, we just wait and see what happens when I spoke to the doctor last night this is why we beg this is why we beg from all of you because we can't do this without you um, I gave them twenty three hundred dollars and change just for to start it's a portion a down payment uh, just for them to do what they did last night um, was well over five thousand we get a small very small rescue discount I think it's about 10 or 15 percent uh, and I, when I said to her that doesn't include the surgery she said no I said what am I looking at regardless I, I need to ask these questions. We're, we're going to follow through no matter what the cost is. But I just, I'm telling you this because I think it's very important you understand what goes on behind the scenes after we shut down the videos so you know what we go through. Um, so basically the surgery, including last night, everything total should run us a little over $8,000 to save this little puppy's life. So the average person, including myself personally, does not have $8,000 laying around to save a life. I just don't. Um, but when we all pull together and everybody makes a donation, which you all did, and thank you so, so very much. I, I don't have enough words to say thank you. When I go and I know I sound a little crazy during these videos, my adrenaline is just running and rushing through. It's through the, through the roof. Um, when you are there and it is presented in front of you and you can't even make out what you're seeing, um, we're already in a crazy mindset because of what's going on in the world. And then you're just presented with this poor baby that's suffering. Uh, a couple of hours later, a dog that has been raped. Um, you know, it just goes on and on and on. So my heart's racing. My adrenaline's rushing, just like all of you, my team. And if we sound hysterical or crazy, guess what? I really don't give a shit. And um, for the majority of all of the comments, thousands and thousands, 20,000 people watching a video and commenting, it's an open forum. I understand we're going to have some real crazy people on there that are telling us what to do. Um, stop with your hysterics and don't worry about money and, you know, don't show the photos of the dog people. Really? I mean, obviously they're on the wrong page. If we don't show these photos and we don't show these videos, this is their reality. So in order for us to be able to help them and save them, we are raw. We are live. We don't edit. Everything we do is raw for you to see. 
we want you to be a part of this mission as though you are sitting and standing right beside us so you can understand exactly what we go through every single day of rescue um yeah exactly i there's i thank you thank you we keep it real we sure do so and we are very transparent and we have no pride so with everything being said i think you you get it um you understand that he is stable judah and i'm waiting on the doctors to um, update me more on the tumor and what the next step is for surgery as soon as i know i promise you you know me i will go live um, even if it's me sitting back and just updating you like i am doing right now uh, thank you all of you everyone that donated every one of you i had um, a wonderful supporter. It broke my heart, actually. Carol and I spoke about this quite a bit. Um, please understand something. When we ask for your support uh, to donate, what I'm going to also ask is if you have a bank account and you have no money or if you have very limited and you can barely get by yourself uh, with $3, $5, I don't care what it is, please don't donate. Do not I could cry right now. There was a woman on one of the comments and she said, I don't have anything, but I'm donating $3 and that leaves my bank account at zero. That donation was refunded this morning. Carol and I in our kitchen, we scrolled through all the emails to find that $3 donation and it was refunded back to our supporter. Please do not donate if you do not have it and it's going to literally put you with no food in your mouth. I don't want that or your last mm -hmm. social security check. Please, I don't want that. So that that was refunded. Um, but some of us are very blessed. Um, some of you are very blessed. You've made wise decisions in your life. You may have invested or whatever the case may be. Um, please 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 if you can donate because this mission is ongoing there are so many that need us and again we're saving another life today um, we love you and we so appreciate you you have no idea I was in the kitchen with Carol and we were just Carol's like my god Amy we have the best supporters and we're so very blessed and I have to agree with her um, so thank you from the bottom of our hearts and allowing us to continue this amazing mission, this rescue mission, that we are saving so many lives together. It's Some days are just harder than others. Um, today's one of those emotional days because there's so much, you know, that are, that are there are so many that are counting on us right now. Um, so we're saving a life. We're waiting on Judah, um, his update, when he's going to surgery and what the tumor is. We are picking up Mama Dama today. We have an adoption this morning. And um, Zoe went out and banged out a beautiful home check yesterday. And so hopefully, we, have, we I believe we have a great foster home with a beautiful fence yard and no other animals. So we'll be able to get one of our dogs in there, maybe Dama, where she could recover. That's what our goal is. Um, and yeah things are just moving along and in a positive direction so for that i feel great today and i am very grateful to each and every one of you so yes tango he's uh doing very well he's very comfortable that was the dog that was raped i can't even talk about it i can't even believe these words are coming out of my mouth um, so I'm going to sign off and I'm going to go take a shower and get this day started because we have a lot to do today. You have to stay with me who's being adopted. Stay with me and I promise you I'll come live with an adoption video. Love you guys so, so, so much and thank you yet again for always being there for us with this amazing mission. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. It's going to be a lot of good stuff coming today, so stay with me. Enjoy your morning, everyone. And thank you.